Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be doing how I feel about the Waypoint update, my feelings, and how they've changed from launch to now. So, yes, I've put this in multiple videos, but it's all over the place. So, I just want to do a concise version of how I feel right now about the Waypoint update. So, let's get into this, shall we? Right, oh, so <clears throat> I actually done a poll over on my community space on YouTube asking about Waypoint is out. What do you think of the ability to change your game mode on the fly? So this is where you can switch your game mode mid-play. So technically what you can do is fire up a creative save and change that creative save as soon as you appear in game to a normal save and you end up with all the glyphs, a fixed ship and all that sort of stuff. There's many other ways that you can exploit this to take shortcuts in grind or crafting or whatever. And at first I thought that it would remove something from the game or even maybe remove something from myself in a way that I feel that all the time that I spent doing it was a waste of time because now you can just click a switch and get it in half the time or even quarter of the time you know so does it take something away from my play experience only if I let it is where I sit now but very much at the, the start of playing all of this I felt it was like destiny now destiny you you play destiny until you hit a certain light threshold but then each season it seems to be any new players that jump in they lift them to the old season's light level so everything that you've done previous season almost felt like a waste of time and other players are just being given it for free the way i look at this now is no man's sky isn't going to do this every season or anything like that this is just a new way of playing that's been put into game that we've now got to get our heads around and i'm slowly getting used to the idea so i started a brand new save and my brand new save is in relax mode so it's a save that i haven't played before so i'm kind of enjoying the new balancing and i can see sense in where hello games are going with the balancing so if you if you are feeling on the fence like me just try hitting up a relaxation mode and play it through until you get your ship off the planet and fly up to the station or whatever i mean I, I'm enjoying it because I can see where they're going with this and I think there might be future steps that Hello Games might implement on top of this game idea so it makes even more sense but when it came to the part where I wanted to get all the base parts and I was digging up a planet I can then just flick it into creative mode go and unlock all those base parts after I've got fed up with digging up a load of salvage data and believe me there's a lot that you have to dig up so I'm quite thankful for that little toggle switch especially since I'm doing a playthrough and adventure season um that would just be terrible imagine that it'd be like six episodes of me just digging up a planet it'd be like dragon ball freaking z in the freezer battle <laughs> you know? i'm fairly sure a lot of us skipped a couple of episodes of that so yeah i quite like the ability to skip for um you know players you want there might be some players that never skip and think no i'm i'm gonna dig up that whole freaking planet heck yes i like freezer battles <laughs> but then there's other people who are like no just skip to the end i want to see him freaking get his combatants take that freezer to the face so yeah you know it, it, it's play as you wish now i've done this little poll and i put out there what this update does for people and it says here 22 percent went with it's game breaking makes everything feel pointless and that's very much how i felt at the start until i hit up a new save and start to started to play it out and then when i reached those sort of walls where I thought, you know, this is too boring. I, I think I might give up on this. I was like, oh, no, there's that new mother. I've got, I can press that button. Brilliant. So great feature. Cuts the grinds and saves time and boredom. So I'm very much there now when it comes to when I'm doing my new playthrough. Even though this is lagging behind the 22% above, I think in time this will shift above that, you know. A lot of people said, we'll ignore this option and play as you want. You're not fast predominantly that's how i'm going to play most of the time it's only every time i hit one of these walls it's like um yeah i gave the the, the 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 salvage data example as a prime example but i'm sure there's going to be others it's like once i've maxed out one ship do i really want to go and get all the nanites all over again so i can do my second and third ship no probably not i'm probably going to do the first ship the legit way and then the second ship i'm probably going to turn on creative mode get all the nanites i want upgrade its class upgrade all the slots then swap back into relax play you know so there are times where i feel that i'm going to be using this during my new playthrough and my new adventure so yeah 
most of the time I'm going to be playing like this, but every now and again I'm going to flip into creative mode and just remove that grind and boredom, especially where it comes to what I want to deliver for my viewers in my playthrough. I don't think people want to see me tool up more than one ship or more than one multi-tool. I just show them the end results. Okay, so now I put down two other options here where people have just sort of either down tools or jump back in to take a fresh look, and they're equal peggings. So just for as many people that we've lost to this update, we've gained people to this update, or at least that's what I'm seeing. I've had 885 votes, so I'd like to say this is a good slice of a pie to do my research on. So it does feel that this is a very divisive update when you look at these last two. People are very much divided on this update. This is the most divisive update yet that No Man's Sky and Hello Games have delivered into the verse. There was the next update, which delivered a reset, which baselined everybody. And people are saying, yeah, just remember next. You know, that was pain. But with next, we got refining, we got multiplayer, we got, I believe we got the wiring and power. We might, no, that might have come later. But there was so much that came in next that next almost felt worth a, a, a reset. People accepted it because there was so much in Next. Next was just freaking mind blowing. To date, Next is still one of my favorite updates. Next and Origins are my two favorites, people. I also liked Synthesis for what it did. Now, I was hoping that this would bring a little bit of Synthesis in, mainly because of what Sean Murray said, where they were going to be tying up all the loose ends and trying to merge stuff together. He said that we've painted in rather large brush strokes, and now we're going back in and adding in the detail. I'm sorry, Sean, but this update for me, I don't see any of that detail adding on here. This one to me is another big freaking brushstroke. This is a freaking paint over in some cases in the way that we used to pay, play. I mean, yeah, it's a cover up work, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. And it's almost like you're going you're gonna to have to go back in, put in some extra bigger brush strokes, and maybe even a little bit more detail on this. It's like you said, you've listened to the community in the way that they're playing. Well, if you're watching the community in between updates, you will see that people are doing reruns, like trying to get to the station the quickest, or get to their ship and get it taken off the quickest, or get to the Nexus the quickest, those sort of things. Or play without using the ship that's given to you by the game and finding one in the wild, or play in no HUD and all sorts of other things. So when you said you was going to add in loads of settings, I was really hoping for more HUD settings and control to tweak it a little bit more, because at the moment it's, it's either or, you know, it's either on or it's off. And that's still the case. It would have been nice to be able to turn on certain things in the HUD, so at least you can see your mission markers, so you can actually progress. Um, yeah, or turn off the live chat feed on console because we can't type into the dang thing anyway. But yeah, have maybe the setting to turn off a starter ship so you just have to find one on planet or save up enough units so you can buy one at an archive or a minor settlement or a trading post, whatever you find with a landing pad, you know? So if you were listening to the community and seeing what the community does in between updates, you would have seen that very strongly echoing out amongst some of the bigger content creators here, at least on YouTube. I don't know about Twitch. I don't go there enough. So yeah, I, I found it a little bit odd that the settings that we got added in seem to enhance the ability to duplicate and bring things in, cut corners and make things easier. So very much uh, when this first came out, I honestly thought that it was aimed at maybe the Switch player to cut down gaming time and because of battery life and things. And that's why you got the auto save in there. And that's why you got these little switches to do things that little bit quicker. But yeah, when I'm scrolling down and I'm looking at comments from the actual um, community, I have to say a lot of them is kind of what steered my feeling at the start because I've seen so many people saying, oh my days, this has just broke the game for me. I'm not, I'm no longer gonna play this. And I was seeing my subscriber count going down, um, you know, people saying, I'm, I'm not coming back. Sorry, Captain Steve, but I won't be watching anymore. And yeah, you know, that sort of stuff. And I was like, oh my days. And not only that, all the actual guides that I've made in the past, <laughs> pretty much useless now because people can flick a switch i'm probably going to end up with comments on those in time saying why are you doing it this way when you can just flick this switch and it's magically yours in seconds you know there's, there's all that sort of shenanigans going on well now i can just come i can make guides that show the legit way or the way that people would normally do it and then i can also show the other way you know that way you can flick a switch and you can pop into creative mode and all that sort of stuff
Yeah. So I'm just going to be splitting my guides that way and see how I get on with that. The very first one I did with the uh, rocket launch, the rocket uh, or trade rocket, was very much passive aggressive in the way that I delivered that video. But at the same time, I do still feel that it has taken something away. That grind, I feel, should be maybe limited to the custom mode only. Or once you get through the whole game, maybe when you get your remembrance seed, maybe then it unlocks the ability to change your mode on the fly because you've played through once legitimately and, and done everything then maybe you unlock this mode where you get the god boxes and all the, the switches and stuff otherwise it might remove something from players jumping in they might be wanting to just cut corners they might want to get that mech super quick or get that freighter super quick or get off the planet super quick and with it miss out on parts of the tutorial and learn important steps on how you can survive in the wild and then they're forever turning it back into creative mode back and forth back and forth whenever they get stuck rather than looking online finding a guide or going to a wiki or talking to a mate and then finding out how to do it um, which, yeah, it's going to remove traffic to channels and to content creators and things like that inside of the verse and also maybe reduce traffic to the Reddit or even people needing to because they've got this super god mode. And it's pretty much like Dark Sombra touches on here. That's kind of how I feel as well. You know, there, there are ways and means that we could have put this into the actual verse that might not have taken away from the play experience too much. But when you're scrolling down, you can see a lot of people making decent suggestions. And I really like those comments like Dark dark sombras but what i am getting is a lot of um you know comments that are a little bit yeah it's it's disheartening to see to be honest and what i would say is when you jump on over to the hello games youtube channel and you look at the update trailer the only feedback that i'm seeing there is extremely positive okay so it's all right telling me um, what you think of the game I don't mind that especially if you are thinking about dropping and moving away from watching the channel and you've got a good reason um, but you know I do a lot more just than No Man's Sky I mean I am trying to branch my channel out because one day No Man's Sky might not be supported by Hello Games so I am trying to change my channel direction or at least branch out a bit I still want to cover No Man's Sky because I love No Man's Sky and I love this community and I've got so much time for the community and this game no matter what the update is i am going to stick with no man's sky because it's so different to anything else that's out there and there just isn't anything else to get my teeth into when it comes to a sci-fi space adventure and i'm really hoping that hello games is going to go back in with that smaller detailed brush and start sort of filling in some of the gaps even though that's what they said that they were doing in this update but I, like i say i don't see too much of that going on what i see is a couple of shortcuts to play it's like even the trade rocket it saves you from going up to the galactic trade terminal but i am hearing something funny about that i am hearing that sometimes it explodes and you get no units hasn't happened to me yet but i've had a few people on that rocket um comments feed say that it's blew up so yeah if that's happening to you please let us know i mean um yeah i'm laughing now whether i'll be laughing if i filled it full of all my highest quality of goods and it exploded when i was doing it i don't know in fact actually it'll make a bloody funny video let's put it that way with me just swearing for like 10 minutes <laughs> i do love um what hello games does with no man's sky but this this update when it first dropped i was in two minds whether i wanted to continue doing content for no man's sky because yeah i was reading the comments that i was seeing i was seeing my subscriber count going down i was thinking about all my previous videos and the time that i spent on my channel and the time that i spent inside no man's sky for me it was like double impact like boom yeah we're gonna knock you down and we're gonna kick you <laughs> yeah oh yeah i wasn't in a good way for the first couple of days but now i've got my head around stuff the the actual switching of game modes i don't mind that's cool I love the new trade rocket. I love the ability to make, uh, well, to change our save games and all that sort of stuff. That's all great. I love the lore log. The things I don't like, I don't really like the scrolling on inventory. I would rather have the tabs back. I would very much would like it if Hello Games would please add in a switch, a little toggle switch. Do you want scroll on or off? If you turn it off, you get the old tabs back. 
it's had to be freaking great. Yes. Yeah, I, I very much want my tabs back. Hello, games. But if not, you know, I will get used to the scroll eventually. But it's a little bit tedious, especially if a lot of your upgrades are at the bottom of your um, cargo area and your technology is still at the top and you, you're trying to feed them in. But then you've got other technology further up. It'd be nice. You know those filters down the side of the, t of the um, cargo space and you click them and it highlights things at the moment. It'd be nice if you held it down. Maybe you get a little progress wheel that goes round and it just goes bing and it moves everything that was highlighted together in a block. Yeah, so you can actually s sort of block stuff together like Tetris. That'd be pretty darn cool, like an auto sort feature. In fact, it'd be nice just to have one button for auto sort, hold it down, it p puts everything together using sort of an algorithm or something, and actually bunches stuff together as well. Because at the moment, I've got stacks that are like all different sizes of different things, and I've got technology that hasn't stacked either. I can manually drag and drop it, but why if, the, if we could do it automatically? That'd be nice, especially now that there's just too much scrolling for me i prefer tabs but you can see here on the no man's sky official video for the trailer all they've got is loads and loads of positive feedback now i don't know people at hello games i mean yes they've spoken to me once or twice like for the meetup or where they've absolutely had to talk to me i mean even when we get the sponsored videos it's a third party that we go to. We play piggy in the middle with a third party. We don't talk directly to Hello Games. It's a third party that comes to us, a different company, separate from Hello Games. And that's me, Jason, that's Survival Bob, everybody that's done sponsorship videos, we don't talk to Hello Games, okay? So we haven't got a line into them. So all the comments that you're putting in there to say just, you know, how this is making you feel and that you're not happy, I would say either hit it up on the Zendex give them some positive sorts of things that might bring you back or give them some suggestions or or if you really feel the need that to, to say this update has broke the game for you and you're not happy give them reasons as to why things that they could do or maybe do a rollback or even have a setting on the main title screen to turn off those switches or whatever or implement them after you've completed an atlas playthrough tell them what you want what you think would work okay through the zen desk or if you just feel that you need to say, look, I'm no longer playing your game. Thank you very much for the time. But yes, it's time that I'm never going to get back now, which I'm seeing on my comments, loads and loads of them. Put them on this video rather than mine. Put them on Hello Games is, and then Hello Games is going to see exactly where you are with this and where your mindset is. And they might address it because telling me then disappearing isn't doing you or the game any favors at all. So that's... That's that's pretty much where I am with this, peeps, is I just want to say there's avenues to feedback to Hello Games, and they're supposed to be listening to the community. Either do it on Reddit, which I think people are anyway, but do it on their own video on the Hello Games tube, put it there, or put it through the Zendesk. And if you're going through the Zendesk, go to town, give them some ideas on how you feel this could work or better work for you. And hopefully if they see enough of them coming through on the Zendesk, they, they take that data, they crunch it, and they will probably come up with a new way of re reworking this. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, because we don't know what's going in inside of the old Murray's head and the developers over there. They might have done this because they're putting in the foundations for something to build on in future. Now, I say this about so many things like settlements. Honestly, thought settlements was the foundations of something that was going to be bigger and better. But settlements at the moment, I, I visit my settlement and all my NPCs have disappeared and all sorts of weirdness goes on at settlements. I try to build a base near it and it freaking sinks. Uh, I tried to talk to a vendor from behind the desk and it crashes. It just holds the game open. The sentinels that visit it don't seem to do any damage to the settlement. So why bother shooting them? Might as well keep them there as decorations. <laughs> <laughs> there's, yeah, there's there's so much that could do with a bit of polish and there's things that I'm going to keep banging on about in my videos. I'm still going to do ideas videos. I still see the potential in No Man's Sky. I still have the same love for the game and for the concept of No Man's Sky and for this community. So I'm going to stay and I'm going to continue doing content for this. Now, what I would say is if you're very much on the fence, whether you want to continue playing or not, put aside your legacy saves just for one sec. Try hitting up a relaxed 
mode play and see if it relaxes you back into playing. And if you start to see the balance and where Hello Games is going with this and their thought processes, try and look at this as if you was a new player coming into No Man's Sky. And that's what I'm trying to do. I, when I'm doing my playthrough, I've even pretended that I've been reset and I don't know how to play No Man's Sky anymore. Mainly because I thought all oh, the Switch players, this is, this is something that's really got me, okay? All the Switch players, I thought... On 4.0, like everybody else, we're going to tick over to 4.0. So I thought all these people in France that were playing it early, I was like, ha, ha, ha. Well, on Friday, it's going to change to 4.0, and then you, it's not going to be the same freaking game for you anymore. Ha, ha, ha. Some more for you. Guess what? Didn't happen. <laughs> no, all the Switch players are on something like version 3.93, or there or there's about. It's around the uh, Outlaws update. They're not even close to 4.0. So all the new videos that I'm doing... I'm thinking of all the Switch players. <laughs> the Switch players aren't even on this current update. So, yeah, even that got me a little bit riled up because that's what I was aiming my content at, was Switch players. So, yeah, I'm doing my little adventure with the voice acting of Eto. I, I thought the younger Switch players would freaking love that. Well, they probably are. But at the same time, every time I go into the menus, they're going to be like, I haven't got those buttons. Mine doesn't look like that. Yeah, it's going to be freaking, <laughs> what the fudge? So yeah, I'm still, I'm still, I, I don't understand Hello Games' reasoning behind what they've done. I honestly think what they should have done is release this on all the other platforms, version 4.0, maybe like two weeks ago, and we do all the bug testing and everything up to the Switch release, and then Switch players would have got version 4.0 as their version 1, and then everybody's on the same freaking hymn sheet and singing the same freaking hymn. But at the moment, no, we're all looking at different directions. Welcome, new Switch players, to our community, our community where we're playing a different game than you <laughs> what the, no, i don't understand it so yeah there's a there's a lot to be gleaned from this now i would say that the players that have sort of lost their way with hello games slightly at the moment i feel your pain i honestly do but at the same time i feel you need to be echoing that over to hello games not putting it out on content creator stuff and um i I, I, would, I read a lot of the comments and I heart and I like pretty much every comment, but I, I might skim read the big ones because there's some that are like war and peace, but I skim read them, but I get the general gist and that general gist sits with me and I'm like, the community is divided. The community is in pain. And yeah, I want to understand your pain. That's kind of why I wanted to fire up a new save and continue playing this because I need to understand what's going on out there. So thank you very much for all your comments and feedback. But I honestly feel that it's going to be more constructive if you can put that through the Zendesk or put it on Hello Games' video so they can see it also. I mean, carry on putting them on my video. Fine, carry on. Um, but also, copy and paste it. Copy, paste into Hello Games' just so they can see it as well. Because at the moment, it's going into the content creators and into the community. And it's it's maybe making the divide even bigger. Some people that are on the fence might be reading your comments and say, you know what, I think I'm going to down tools as well. They might not even put the comment. They might not even put the comment on. They might just say, you know what, I've had enough, but I'm not going to voice it. There, there could be a bigger picture to this. And I think Hello Games needs to be aware of it. So make sure you're feeding into Hello Games somewhere, whether that's on their Twitter, whether it's on this video, like I suggested, or whether it's on the Zendesk, so they hear you. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on this. I am hoping to do another review of this update once we've got a few more patches come into the verse. I always review it like day one, what Hello Games gave us. And I do that for expeditions and major updates. It's very rare that I go back and do another review, but I think this one being so divisive i think once we understand whether it is going to go to switch as 4.0 at some stage i think maybe give it a month and i might do another review otherwise i still feel my review of giving it a 6 out of 10 is 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 correct mainly because of the amount of bugs that there was on day one and also just how divided this community is it is almost a 50 50 split from those two sort of poll results that i showed you earlier so a five out of ten is where it should be the six is because i still love the game <laughs> you know so i feel six was fair this this um this update really is a 
divisive update the biggest divisive update yet and i'm going to stick with it i'm going to play and plow through it carry on playing and i am thoroughly enjoying relax mode and i'm starting to see the sense in where this update's going but for it to actually have that higher grade or that higher marking only time will tell to see what hello games does with this if they start cutting more corners off and turn this into a freaking round circle rather than having any sort of jaggedy edges or um challenge then uh yeah then i'll have to rethink <laughs> then but for now i'm very much looking forward to the future of what hello games puts into no man's sky or in a lot of the interviews sean murray has been talking a lot about their new ambitious project and i wonder whether that's purposely done and whether these updates that we've just got is to give more player control god mode over to this game and rather than going down the game way they've gone into a sandbox way to give us whatever we want to play the game how we want Want, so they can then focus on their newer title maybe they're giving more and more to the player so we can carry on our own entertainment in the game maybe there might be more of this player driven content you know new new settings like the ones i mentioned earlier maybe if they might go down that route and if they start going down that route i think we might be closer to hearing about their new ip anyway people i think i've droned on enough and i hope that gives you a sense of where i am with this i still love no man's sky i'm still going to be doing content for no man's sky stay locked in for more but yes feedback to hello games get your message over to the people that can do something about it rather than putting it to well it's nice to hear your thoughts though i do like to hear where you are with this because it gets get, keeps me in in tune with my community and my viewers you know if you didn't sound off in my comments and then just unsubscribed i wouldn't know why at least i know it's not my fault okay and that's made me feel a lot better it's not my fault this is down to the development direction without so much communication and not knowing the future direction of um, no man's sky and hello games's way of thinking that i think a lot of people have jumped away from this again i think this boils down to poor communication but communication goes both ways okay so if you think hello games is communication is bad and you're communicating out into an avenue that can't do anything about the issue then the communication is also bad from yourselves so please put it across to somewhere where hello games is going to see it and that's what i've got to say on this and i, I wish you the best and i hope you stay tuned to captain steve and i hope that i lift a smile on your face daily no matter what content i'm doing it whether it's a vlog about a bloody toaster or something you know because yeah i'm trying all sorts all right take care Cheery bye!